Hey guys, Zen here, and today I wanted to go over some of the most recent headlines in Rainbow Six Siege. The game has seen a ton of news, leaks, and Ubisoft themselves have been pretty cheeky over on Twitter in regards to some godly operators. But let's get on with it. Starting off, over on Twitter, Ubisoft and Rainbow Six tweeted out this image. It's an Italian-themed tile sprayed with bullets, and it has text that reads, Civis Pacem Parabellum, which is Latin for, if you want peace, prepare for war. This is our first official teaser for the Italian Italian season of Rainbow Six Siege and is probably one of many leaks to come. For those of you who aren't caught up, the Italian season of Rainbow Six Siege will bring two new defenders named Alibi and Maestro. Alibi is said to be bringing a hologram of some sort that may have the ability to highlight and scan attackers who fire at it, while Maestro is leaked to be bringing some sort of remote controlled turret that has a built-in shell mode while inactive to keep it safe and also has some kind of zapping mechanic while firing. Keep in mind that other than this image you're seeing here, nothing else is confirmed by Ubisoft. Not even these defenders' names. All that is confirmed is that they will both be defenders, as game director Leroy Athanasoff recently stated. During the last TTS, you could also hear the beginning melody for the Italian season, and it has a somewhat romantic vibe. It'll really get you in the mood. Next up, Ubisoft just might have some changes in store for our lord Tachanka. Now, over on Twitter, community dev Justin Kruger tweeted out an image of Tachanka fading away with a comment that reads, LMG mounted and loaded. Then, the official Ubisoft Canada Twitter account replied to this tweet with a drawing of Valkyrie with a caption that says, delete this. Kruger then replies with a Rainbow Six meme featuring our Lord Tachanka front and center. Finally, Ubisoft Canada replies back with an animated gif of the Kavera icon, basically saying to keep quiet. Of course, a fan took notice and asked Kruger straight up if this was a hint towards something, while Kruger coming back and saying, no, he just wanted to meme. Without skipping a beat, I think this is definitely alluding to some kind of Tachanka rework, or at the very least, a buff. First off, if he did just want to meme, why use a picture of Tachanka fading away when there are a billion more and better Tachanka memes. Also, this isn't really a meme. Not to be asleep at the party, but what's meme worthy about this? Also, it's not very often an official Ubisoft account will reply to a meme, let alone jokingly saying to keep quiet. And all of this is happening just one day after Ubisoft officially teases the new season. The only other thing I could think of is that they may be passively saying that Maestro will fade out our Lord Tachanka with a kind of out with the old, in with the new reference. It's possible I'm reading too far into this, but I can't see why this would happen at all at this time and in this way. My initial thoughts are that no one replaces my Lord Tachanka, and Ubisoft is most likely thinking of changing him. We all know how Ubisoft loves to stir up hype and get people talking, so what do you think? Is Justin a meme lord, or is Tachanka getting changed? If he was, how would you change him? Leave it in a comment down below. Next, I wanted to talk about the latest patch and some of the things we actually didn't see with it. Now, since its release, I've been getting a ton of questions about where some of the features are that we saw from TTS. So in case you didn't know, the bulletproof camera gadget, the recoil changes, and the new UI were just in testing at the time and weren't confirmed to be coming with patch 1.2. I'm not exactly sure when we'll see these new features, but I'm almost positive we're seeing the bulletproof camera with the start of the Italian season because both of the new defenders have voice lines saying they're deploying it. The recoil changes on the TTS felt absolutely amazing and made the weapons feel so much more consistent across the game, so I'm hoping we get those very, very soon. But all of these features are definitely coming, but we may have to wait until next season or even season 3 before we see all of them. I really hope that clears up some of the confusion for some of you. Lastly, Ubisoft officially announced the Valkyrie Elite and tweeted out the MVP animation and release date along with with it. It's pretty much tradition at this point for elites to get this kind of rollout. But May 7th is the day the Valkyrie Elite comes out, so be sure to have those R6 credits ready for that. Compared to our last Elite with IQ, I'd say Ubisoft toned down the vibrant colors and went with a more old school vintage look. It was leaked a while back that this Elite was modeled after a World War II war photographer, so it's always a nice little nod to history with the Elite uniforms. Of course, I'll be picking this up and I'll be glad to bring you guys some gameplay if that's something you'd like to see. But that's everything guys. Those are the latest leaks and memes for Rainbow Six Siege. But I want to hear from you. How would you buff our Lord Tachanka? And are you grabbing the Valkyrie Elite? Let me know everything in a comment down below. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe with notifications if you're new. With that being said, it's been Zen. Hey, I'm out.